From Holmstad, Sweden, welcome to Studio 90. The US Women's National Team held its stadium training here at Oriansvall ahead of its match on Saturday, June 16th against Sweden. We talked to US head coach Pia Sundhaga and several US players to get their thoughts on the big Olympic tune-up. I've never been to Sweden before, so this is my first time and uh, they really welcomed us. Uh, it's, it's been a really great trip so far, but we're ready to get the game started. We're really excited to play Sweden and Japan. I expect nothing but but the best from the Swedish team. Um, I think there'll probably be plenty of people in the stands. I know that they're going to have a lot of pride. Um, they're never an easy team. By, by no means was the win against them in Portugal an easy game. Uh, they still fight. They still are strong. And they're still confident until the end. It's time to, uh, to really just tighten up everything. It's about marking in the box. It's about set pieces. It's about the tiny details to which is really going to make you better than, than the team you know the team that you're facing. That's what in the end it's all about is the small details. We're all great soccer players, we're all great athletes, we're organized. At the end of the day, who's going to make less mistakes? For us it's very important to uh, keep possession and uh, be patient in attacking third. When there is a counter-attack to make sure we have people in place in the right spot. We want to make sure we contain Lauta. She's uh obviously one of their best players, but she's also, in my opinion, one of the best forwards in the world. And um, I think in order to, to beat them, you have to take away some of their strengths, and, and that will be one of them. All three teams are at the top of their games right now going into the Olympics, so it's um, going to be, I think, a big challenge for us um, these next couple of days. Every single game will, uh, will uh, teach you something and uh, you get uh, experience. We will look different from one game to another, I think, because uh, the bench is good, it's really good, uh, and uh, they're different. It's not only that the, uh, when they play, the performance is fairly high, and, uh, but also they bring out different things from your teammates. Trying to find the right system, the right uh, personnel on any specific day, and the fact that we played Japan uh, a day later after, after this Sweden, Sweden game is going to be important for us. It's a good test because uh, some of us are going to have to, to play quite a, quite a bit of minutes and some of us uh, might not have to. Pia gets a chance to see many players. So it's going to be an exciting couple of days, a great weekend of soccer here. Uh, not to mention the Euros going on. So all in all, it's soccer, soccer, soccer. Or football, football, football. We're close to the Olympics. Um, we're in preparation. Our team is zeroed in, completely focused to when we touch down in London. We're not quite where we want to be to, uh, you know, to put our best game forward in London, but as soon as we touch ground in London, I believe you're, you're going to see a whole different team. Hopefully, if we do a good job, everybody's prepared, regardless if they um, uh, in a starting lineup or if they're coming off the bench. They know exactly what they're going to do and how to help the team to win the game. That's it for this edition of Studio 90. You can watch USA versus Sweden live on Saturday, June 16th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on the Universal Sports Network and universalsports.com. Of course, you can follow along on ussoccer.com's Match Tracker and on Twitter at ussoccer underscore WNT.